Hey, hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. I decided to come out of the closet this Pride Month. Sorry. Um, hi. How are you doing? Today we're going to be watching Bridal Plasty. Mm -mm -mm. It's from like 2010 and it's been described as Big Brother meets Botched meets Four Weddings. <laughs> what a cluster. Basically the premise is there's 12 soon to be brides and they all compete to win plastic surgeries to look the best on their wedding day. To quote unquote, be the perfect bride. We're all gonna live here for the next several weeks in this magnificent mansion and compete in challenges that will help transform you closer and closer to the perfect bride. Everyone knows you can only be the perfect bride with a chin implant. You don't have a chin implant? You'll be a good bride. Will you be the perfect bride? No, I don't make the rules. To fit the vibe, I Googled plastic surgery stock photo. What's going on there, huh? The doctor is inside of his patient. I love how he's just like, oops, I killed my patient. Whoopsie. <laughs> my patient is dead because I decided to crawl into his stomach. Who directs these stock photo shoots? I, I have some questions. <laughs> this is a perfect idea for a reality show because so many people want to get married. They found the one, but they don't want to plan the wedding date. Why? Because they have bigger earlobes than other people and they want an earlobe shortening surgery, but they can't afford it. If only they knew about bridalplasty. Do you think your kneecaps are too big or some shit? You don't want to get married because of that? This is the reality show for you. All you got to do is compete in weird ass competitions and you could win surgery. A potential downside is once you win the surgery, you do it and then like you're just in bandages for the rest of the competition, which kind of sucks. Like getting a tummy tuck, ow, but then having to compete in a relay race with the tummy tuck bandages in the middle of recovery. I don't know if they thought this through. Every bride wants to look perfect on her wedding day, but some may need some extra help. I definitely need a breast lift. <laughs> they, they look fine. What's wrong with her? Are these contestants in the show they're showing? Or are these just like random actresses? Can you imagine if you booked the audition to be the bride? They don't tell you what it's for, but you're like, oh my gosh, this will be fun. I'm getting paid. I get to put on a wedding dress. There's a whole camera crew. But then you're used in the part of the intro where they say some people need some help. It's like, bitch, they looked fine. Anyway. This is bridal plastic. She's gonna fill out her wedding dress, that's for sure. After being away from her fiance for four months, she will finally walk down the aisle and he will lift her veil to reveal her new look for the very first time. Sis, that ain't a good idea. Haven't seen your husband-to-be in four months and the first time you see him is on the wedding day at the ceremony and you have a new face? What? That's not a good idea. First of all, it's awkward for the bride being like, here's my new face and body. Hope you're, you like it. And it's awkward for the husband because he's like, now I have to like give a reaction and like this is supposed to not even be about that. It's supposed to be about our love and now it's about the plastic surgery makeover. Everyone we've ever known is in the audience. Ugh. No. But I am excited to watch. Maybe the winner will get botched. So that would be fun. Just kidding, that wouldn't be. This whole premise for this show feels like a Black Mirror episode. You might have the impression that weddings are for love and connection. Nah, nope. They're for surgeries. I think before every wedding, both parties should be legally required to get facial reconstructive surgery. <laughs> I think it will be initial shock just because, you know, there is always going to be shock when someone comes home looking different, but, you know, that's what keeps life exciting. True. True. It'll be exciting when he sees your new face at the wedding ceremony. That's a good way to look at it. Exciting is a good word choice. You know what they say? Anxiety and excitement are the same feeling. Your mind's just interpreting it differently. It'll be exciting when the world ends. Exciting. Excitement is happening. Hi, ladies. I'm Shayna Mokler and welcome to Bridal Plasty. <laughs> You get a calf implant. You get a calf implant. You get a calf implant. We're sending the entire studio audience home with calf implants. Anyway. Please welcome Dr. Debro. 
Okay, the doctor from Botched. Perfect, of course he's the doctor. Who else would it be? He's here to literally make all of your dreams come true. I mean, I was surprised when I first met you guys because you're all so basically good looking and- uh... I mean, that's a compliment, kind of. Like he was expecting to walk in and they would all just be like Shrek, like swamp creatures, but he was like, you're all basically good looking. On a very basic level, you all are somewhat attractive. So I am surprised. I thought there would be a lot more ugly people. Ugly stands for ugly. Me like trying to act like that's a new slang word. Like boo, that was in Mean Girls. That came out in like 2004. Anyway. I actually was on The Biggest Loser. Um, that's where I met my fiance. And I actually went home first. And after I lost the weight, he came back and proposed to me on TV at the finale. <laughs> my life. All I keep hearing about is Biggest Loser, Biggest Loser, Biggest Loser. Yes, that's me. Shut up already. Uh-oh, drama's brewing, because she's already been on The Biggest Loser, and people are getting mad that she keeps bringing it up. There's a little bit of jealousy going on. Jealousy's a disease, and you've been diagnosed. Please let this be right. Kristen, you are the first bride to complete your puzzle. Come grab your syringe and go down to the injectable party. Yes! Oh my gosh, my puzzle's right. I want this butt face fixed. Yeah! I'm so <laughs> to take care of my butt face. <laughs> she won the first contest. She now gets to get injected. That's the first prize. Some good old injections. And she's really happy because she gets to fix her. What did she say? I'm so <laughs> to take care of my yeah, she literally called her face a butt face. What? Her face looked fine. I didn't, it doesn't resemble any sort of butt. I don't see any butt face there. Poor girl, like walking through life thinking she has a butt face. Who told you that? Girl, you don't have a butt face. You have a butthole face. Just kidding, that doesn't, I don't even know what that means. Let's move on. That is correct. You got the last syringe. Yes, grab it and go down to that party. When she said that, it was almost as if I like, an angel was calling my name. <laughs> um, you know she's thankful. She's thankful she's gonna get the injections. You know, maybe that was a little bit of an over the top reaction, but everyone's different. <laughs> she won one session of free injectables, probably valued at like $200. But she's giving the reaction as if somebody said something really important, like Heidi Montag's releasing new music and you get to hear it first. At least she's thankful. <laughs> Ashley, I'm sorry. You are the first one to be eliminated from bridal plasty. Your wedding will still go on, but it just may not be perfect. So sad. The first one goes. She's leaving with nothing. And as the host said, she will have a wedding, but it won't be perfect. The only way your wedding's perfect is if you got a whole slew of plastic surgeries beforehand. But it won't be the perfect bridal plasty wedding because you'll be showing up as yourself, unsurgeried. Now it's time to write their vows for the plastic surgery wedding. And to help them write their vows, they have... Jessica Gillen. Jessica is a celebrity wedding planner. Okay, makes sense. A celebrity wedding planner. Fun. Who else do we got? Brandy Roderick. She is a Playboy Playmate. And Baywatch Babe. <laughs> and a Playmate. I mean, that's fun. I mean, go off. I just, I didn't, is she a vow expert? <laughs> the Playmate's probably helping them with their vows. Like, yeah. I kind of just came here for the bag, if I'm being real. I don't really have any advice for you with these vows. I don't know, speak from your heart. Say I love you and shit. The new competition now is the plastic surgery brides write vows, and then their husband also writes vows, I guess, and they have to see if the vows match up. You're the prince of my dreams. You are the breath that fills my lungs that gives me life to breathe. You're my light that shines as bright as the kingdom of our Lord. So much emotion, so much love. I also love how the girls watching are just straight up laughing at her, pouring out her soul. Those were some thick vows. Let's see her husband's. I want Lisa Marie to vow to give me a full body massage at least once a week. <laughs> that is not a match. I would like Lisa Marie to make me breakfast in bed. <laughs> okay. 
Um, those were his wedding vows. Great. <laughs> Can you imagine if you went to a wedding and one of the wedding vows was, I hope you make me breakfast every day? Ugh, no. Do you want a wife or do you want a chef? Because <laughs> I can be both. Mm, I'm wanting to get my nose done forever. I'm gonna get the nose I always wanted. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I mean, that could have been me. That could have been my wish list that I was choosing from. And being so close, it's a mind screw. It really messes with you. Oh, one of them won and gets a free nose job immediately. Like she's being sent off right away to get her nose broken and reconstructed. But the other girl, she's stuck with her natural nose. She's gonna have to wear her real nose on her wedding day. That is sad. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having to show your actual face on your wedding day? I would never, I would never. Walk up the stairs. This is a hobby. <gasps> I just hope that one day I can do the same. I want to be in that room. I want to be recovering. I want to be bruised. I want to be bandaged. Why can't it be me? The emotions are cutting deep. Time to pick their wedding dresses for the big plastic surgery ceremony. I like that you chose something with the beading to accentuate your cleavage. However, it looks a little like you got a little shotgun wedding going on there. I think you should have paid more attention to maybe one of the beaded belts at the waist. Melissa looks like she's seven months pregnant. Aqua turtle. Oh my God. That is harsh. She looks fine. And like also, you don't want to hear that when you're trying on wedding dresses. It's supposed to be a princess. It's supposed to feel confident and beautiful, but like you should have thought about having a midsection belt. Like F you and your mustache, sir, sir. Stop! Stop it right now. What score would you give Allison? I just have one question. Is your mother gonna cry when she sees those tattoos and that pretty dress? You just look like a truck driver in a gown, girl. This is just embarrassing. Sis! Let her rock the tattoos in peace. The whole point of the competition is to critique the wedding dress. She can't change her shoulder decorations. Saying she looks like a truck driver? Like, come on. I think she looked hot. I would hit it. That's not appropriate. Also, I'm gay. Tonight's elimination was absolutely ruthless. I'm not sure at this point if Alexandra is this terrible person. What did that girl get done? Just in a wheelchair hunched over? Honey, honey, what's going on there? Looks painful. We're about ready to begin. Cheyenne, have you ever had any hesitations about getting married to Scott? Lie detector time. Also, that guy, is he literally the only lie detector man in the universe? He's everywhere. Anytime a YouTuber does a lie detector video, Vanity Fair Bears lie detector shit. On the Beverly Hills Housewives, someone did a lie detector. It's always him. Who is he? Reveal yourself. Allison, are you satisfied with your sex life? No. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Well, that's always good. I haven't even gotten married yet, but already the sexual life sucks. Okay. At least she was honest. She didn't even attempt lying. <laughs> she was like, yeah, I, I hate our sex life. We're now down to the final effing two. Who's gonna win all the surgeries? They've already gotten a little bit of surgeries, but who's gonna get the entire body transformation? I guess the eliminated brides get to pick who gets to win. There's gonna be some drama. Yeah, and I don't expect you to forgive me. I don't. I won't. I did blatantly walk all over Cheyenne. If I had handled the challenge with Cheyenne a little differently, I probably could have had her vote. I mean, again, at least she's being honest. He's like, yeah, I did blatantly walk all over her and treat her like dirt. I did that all right. I treated her like a used banana peel behind an abandoned building underneath a dumpster. So I understand why she's mad at me. <laughs> Sorry. But I do feel like Allison has played the victim card. You know, she got the lipo and she went back in the kitchen and ate Hot Pockets every night. And I don't think you took it seriously, Allison. I'm just gonna be honest. Like, can I just say that you are the biggest super I've ever met in my entire life? Okay, well, at least I'm honest about it. Cause I know a that- A pocket? I know A that. lean pocket. It was lean pockets, guys. It was not the actual hot pockets, lean pockets. I mean, I'm on her side. She's allowed to eat whatever she wants. Just cause you get lipo doesn't mean you can't have a hot pocket at night. Especially if it's a lean pocket. Okay, health goals. A lean pocket. You are very fake, fake ass manner. Karma is a bitch and so are you. So shut the f up and I'm glad you ain't winning this f wedding, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you are a bitch. I think she might think the other girl's a bitch. Just throwing it out there. Sorry, but you are a bitch, bitch. That might be a possibility. Allison! 
Yeah. Congratulations. You are the winner of Bridal Plasty. Congratulations. The Lean Pocket Girls winning. Oh, that makes me so happy. She looks good. I mean, she looked good before. Did she even get anything done on her face? She looked great before, but I was hoping for like such a dramatic transformation that like she would be irrecognizable, you know? And her husband would be like, I don't recognize you one bit at all, but I guess this is my wife. Like I was, I thought that's what it was gonna be. I mean, ugh, 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 ugh. Wow, she looks great. We have been away from each other for four months and we just flat out made it dirty. <laughs> Tongue, 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 mash, mash, mash. Hot. I love you very much. Love you too. Oh, look at them. Sometimes you gotta change your whole face and body to find love. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks for sending me that show to watch. If this video gets to 600,000 thumbs up, I will host my own version of Bridal Plasty in my basement. And I'll perform all the surgeries myself, even though I don't have a doctor's degree. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye!